The church is imperfect now, but it won't always be. The day is coming when the church will be spotless, wrinkle-free, perfectly blameless, and glorious. And you might think to yourself and wonder, well, how do I know I will be blameless? How do I know I'm going to make it? Verse 9, Paul reassures them. He says, God is faithful. God is faithful. How can Paul be so sure the Corinthians will be blameless when their church is such a disaster? How can we be sure that we'll make it with all the mess in our own lives and in our own congregation? As imperfect and weak and sinful as we are, how do we know that we will be found blameless? The answer is not because I've looked deep within and I know I have the willpower and the fortitude to make it. The answer is three words. God is faithful. If Paul's hope for the Corinthians to make it to the end blameless was grounded in the Corinthians, he would have no hope of that. We will never be found blameless because we are faithful. If you could lose your salvation you would lose your salvation. We will be found blameless only because God is faithful. You see, our hope of final salvation at the end is not in our works. It is in God's work through Christ for us. And it's not grounded in our faithfulness. It's grounded in God's faithfulness. You know, I think these three words... God is faithful are three of my favorite words in this entire letter. In fact, they're three of my favorite words in the entire Bible because no matter what is going on in my life, no matter how difficult a circumstance may be, no matter how viciously Satan accuses me and attacks me and tells me what a miserable sinner I am, I can hear all of that and answer back with 1 Corinthians 1, 9. That may be true, but God is faithful. And he will get me to the end. He gave you his grace through the gospel in verse four and he's not gonna quit on you now or in the future because his faithfulness extends to eternity. As we read in Psalm 36 this morning, his faithfulness stretches to the skies, which is just a Hebrew metaphor for saying his faithfulness is infinite. It has no end. It keeps going and going and going and going through all eternity. 